uh, multiplication of matrices, um, when you have a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by a 2 by 2 matrix, um, what you're going to do is you're going to take this first row and combine it with this first column. And then you're going to take the first row to and combine it with the second column. Okay, and then we're going to go through and take the second row, combine it with the first column, and the second row, combine it with the second column. Okay, so you're going to end up with a matrix. It's going to be another two, just one two by two matrix, and we're going to set it equal to this one that we already have. So basically, the right side's going to stay the same while we multiply the two matrices on the left. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take a negative 6 and times it by the x. This is a negative 6x. We're going to add that to a negative 6. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so negative 6 times x and then the 5 times the y plus 5y. And then we're going to, to get this other um, value here, we're going to take, again, this first row, but with the second column. So negative 6 times 3. We're going to add that to the 5 times the 3. Okay, now we're going to do, to get these bottom, the, the next row's entries, we're going to take the um, the 4 and the 1 and combine it with the xy, so 4 times x plus, we're going to multiply that by the 1 times y. And then we're going to take the, again, the first column with the, excuse me, first row with the second column to get our next entry. So 4 times 3 plus 1 times 3. So you can see I'm writing it all out this time, but so you can kind of see what's going on. So let's simplify this. Negative 6x plus 5y. And this is going to give me a negative 18 plus 15, which gives me a negative 3. Okay, and so this entry just stays 4x plus y. Okay, and then this one we're going to go ahead and multiply these together and add them. So 12 plus 3 is 15. And we know that that equals negative 20, negative 3, 22, and 15 in our matrix over here. Now if you notice, these corresponding parts are equal. Okay? So this is row 1, column 2 entry equals row 1, column 2 entry here. Row 2, column 2 entry equals row 2, column 2 entry, which is right here. So that what that means is that row 1, column 1 entry equals row 1, column 1 entries over here. So that's going to be negative 6x plus 5y equals negative 20. And so we know that this row 2 column 1 entry equals row 2 column 1 entry on the other side because we're saying these matrices are equal. So 4x plus y equals 22. Now you have um, two equations with two unknowns, and we can use um, substitution or the elimination method, which is often called the addition method. So right here, um, that's what I'm going to do. You can solve this equation for, uh, for x and y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by a negative 5y so that the y's will eliminate each other when I add them together. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by a negative 5. 
going to rewrite my first equation here because it just stays the same. Negative 6x plus 5y equals a negative 20. And then my bottom equation, negative 5 times 4x will give me a negative 20x. Negative 5 times y gives me a negative 5y. And 22 times a negative 5 gives me a negative 110. I'm going to add these two equations together. This is going to give me a negative 26x. The y's cancel each other out. A negative 20 plus a negative 110 is a negative 130. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 26 and you get x equals 5. Now you can go ahead and take this x equals 5. I'm going to plug it back into my second equation here before I multiplied it by a negative 5. So the 4x plus y equals 22. So 4 times 5 plus y equals 22. And then solve this equation for y. So 20 plus y equals 22. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides and I get y equals 2. And so when x x equals 5 and y equals 2 are the values that make this multiplication of matrices equal to this matrix over here on the right.